Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Emmanuel Alaska and David Janowski. This is a game from Alaska Janowski, World Chess Championship match played in Berlin, Germany in 1910. Emmanuel Alaska had white pieces and he started with d4. David Janowski played d5. c4. Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit declined. Knight to c3. Taraj defense. Knight to f3. Knight to f6. C takes on d5. E takes on d5. White to move. Bishop to g5 was played. g3 is the most played move nowadays. Bishop to g5 by Alaska. Bishop to e6. e3. Knight to c6. Bishop to e2. Bishop to e7. And now d takes on c5. Making the bishop move again. Bishop takes on c5. Black has isolated queen's pawn. But white can't do anything immediately about it. Both players cast at kingside. Rook to c1. Placing the rook on the open file. And extraying the bishop on c5. Bishop to e7. Knight to d4. Rook to c8. Queen to d2, knight to e4, attacking the queen. To take or not to take on e4 with knight? What would you do? Laska played knight takes knight, pawn takes knight. And Janowski was very happy now. He saw the problem of his isolated queen's pawn. But Laska saw deeper. Bishop takes bishop on e7. Queen takes bishop. Knight takes on c6. Pawn takes knight. At move 17. Material is equal. But white has a better pawn structure. How can white take an advantage of that? How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Emmanuel Alaska played queen to a5. Rook from f to d8. Rook from f to d1. Bishop to d5. b4, preventing black from playing c5. Rook to d6, intending to switch the rook to the king's side. Maybe not a bad idea. But this move has a tiny, tiny downside. What is it? Please pause the video and find the best move for white in this position. What did you find? Emmanuel Laska played Rook takes bishop on d5. Rook takes rook. If c takes on d5, rook takes rook check. So we have rook takes rook on d5. White to move. How would you continue now? Your queen is under attack on a5. Laska played. Queen to. Queen takes rook on d5. Black to move. Queen takes pawn on b4. If pawn takes queen, rook takes rook check. Queen to f8. Rook takes queen check and white is winning. Back to our game. Queen to b4. White move. White played the move and black resigned. The move is Rook takes pawn on c6. Black resigned. One line goes like this. Rook takes rook. Queen takes rook. And what now? If check, bishop to f1. Black even can't win the pawn on a2 for obvious reason. If queen to b8, perhaps queen takes pawn on e4. And I guess we can stop here. That was a very poor start. 
the championship for Janowski. But final score was Laska 8, Janowski 0, with 3 draws. Is that a convincing victory? Or is that a convincing victory? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.